Gov. Larry Hogan has appointed Robert L. Neal, a veteran public official who has held many roles in government, to run the Maryland Department of Health. Neal, 69, replaces Dennis R. Schrader, who failed to win Senate confirmation as Health Secretary. Schrader will take on the role of the department's chief operating officer, the governor's office announced Thursday. Hogan issued a statement saying the move is a response to a decision Wednesday by the state's highest court to stay a ruling by the Anne Arundel County Circuit Court siding with the administration in its dispute with the General Assembly over whether Schrader was eligible to be paid as health secretary after Hogan withdrew his nomination last spring and then reappointed him. The circuit court had ruled that Schrader and former planning secretary Wendy Peters were eligible to be paid for the time they put in as department heads after July 1, the date that legislators had decreed that officials who had failed to win Senate confirmation must be cut off the payroll. According to the governor's office, the Court of Appeals' actions will delay a hearing in the case for another six months. During that time, Schrader would have had to continue working as acting secretary without pay. The circuit court's ruling was crystal clear lawfully appointed public servants are legally entitled to a paycheck and the Maryland Constitution was violated when their pay was denied, Hogan said in a statement. Due to the fact that Secretary Schrader had already been illegally denied pay for six months, allowing his compensation to be delayed for an additional six months was simply not an acceptable option. Schrader, 64, a former Republican councilman in Howard County, had a tumultuous tenure during his year in charge of one of the state's largest agencies. He was appointed in late 2016 after Secretary Van Mitchell was forced out. Schrader's time as secretary was marked by the firing of several high-level officials and a civil contempt finding against him for the department's delays in providing beds for accused offenders referred to state psychiatric hospitals under court orders. The department is appealing that ruling by Baltimore Circuit Judge Gail Raisin. Before being kicked off the payroll, Schrader earned a salary of $174,417. It is not clear whether Neal's pay would be identical. The governor's office did not respond to a request seeking Schrader's salary in his new position, which is not subject to Senate confirmation. Neal most recently has served in the administration as a senior advisor heading an effort to run state government more efficiently. During a long and varied career in Maryland politics, Neal has held a variety of positions. Elected to the House of Delegates as a Republican from Anne Arundel County in 1974 at 26, he rose to become House Minority Leader. He left that position in 1986 to run for the U.S. Congress but was defeated by former University of Maryland basketball star Tom McMillan, the Democratic candidate. Neal bounced back in 1990, when he won election to a single term as Anne Arundel County Executive. Soon after leaving that office, he was appointed to the Maryland Senate to fill the vacancy left by the death of Sen.